Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Okay, so this has been really, really requested. This is Gary Valenciano and Sharon Cuneta singing in the Sharon Cuneta show oh, nice. in 1993. Uh, and they're singing Somewhere, Somehow. Oh, nice. I didn't know they collaborated. Together. That's such a nice contrast of voices. Let's give it a watch. I know. It's, re- it's going to be really interesting. Let's have a look. Throwback. I love that man. Why is he Hercules? I know. The fact that he sounds the same today. He's like perfect Prince Charming voice. Well, I think this was for Christmas. Is it? Yeah, behind that disc, do you see it? It's like what? a bit of a Christmas thing, like a... I don't think it's a Christmas. Is it Christmas? Well, I'd like to believe it's Christmas, okay. so it's Christmas. It, all right, it is, I suppose. <laughs> Starts to Brazilian get fucking angry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a moment for, like, Christmas is really near? <laughs> okay, moving on. Can't wait, mate. Yes. It's getting cold here. It's always cold here. Colder than usual. <laughs> They oh virtu- my god, Sharon looks stunning! They virtually look like love characters pads. from like like a movie, like live action movie. Not live action, live action? Yeah. yeah, live action movie of a Disney film. Yeah, they do, they sound like it yeah, too. Yeah, where she's like the princess or something. I know. And then he's, yeah, but either Aladdin or Hercules. Yeah. What is the name of Hercules? What do you mean Hercules? Like, does he not have another name? That's his name. Like, <laughs> That's know. not a superhero name. That's his actual name. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's a Greek god. <laughs> it's like it's like as if you were to say Zeus. His name is John. <laughs> it's not John like, the electrician. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Clark Kent and like Superman. Kal-El. You know, Superman. Superman. It's it's not like that. His actual name is is Hercules. Yeah, but like in Norse mythology, for example, they they have different names. Oh, they do. Yeah, like so- human names and like god names. Yeah, like the goddess of, and then her name is Freya. Ah, I see. Oh, well, I don't know if that's the or case fake. with Hercules. I don't know. I think they... Must... Frig, sorry, Frig. Frig. Frig, Frig. Not okay. Frig, not that thing. Can we continue? It's apologies, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> oh my God, fantastic. Oh. Would it be accurate to say she has a really nice timber? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Efra. Yes. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Her timber is gorgeous. Very pleasant, isn't it? It is. It's soothing and it's enchanting. It kind of like engulfs you in this like, like lullaby-ish type of like softness. Obviously, this piece really, really works for the both of their vocal tonalities. You've got Gary's really bright vocalizations in a harmonic third underneath which really like enhances the sound itself usually what happens when males do like a third underneath or a fifth underneath usually the the, what happens there is that you create a bass right you create like this depth in gary's uh, uh, case though that that doesn't work because his voice is so naturally bright um has a nice ring to it so what he creates is this really cool like amplification type of sound so it's like a different of text difference in textures and uh it's it's charming rather than than it's getting lost in 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 the core progression of the song right it's very noticeable exactly he he never gets unseen you know and that's really nice uh paired up with sharon's tonality in in this song as well because she's soothing and it's enchanting and it's like um yeah like magical to a certain extent and he is so juxtaposed vocally speaking to that yeah. so it creates a really nice like 
crunchy but soft edge uh-huh. to do to a nice dessert. They're very piece, nice you know? together. I, I, yeah. This this was probably yeah. I I never would have thought this collaboration happened, mm. but it certainly. Well, I would have never. I don't know. It didn't come to my head as one of. That would have been my favorite collabs, but I think it's one of my favorite sounding collabs. I, I think so too. It's it's really harmonious and easy to listen that to. That I hadn't thought about. Yeah. Mm. You see that? It's so great. I love when they do this stuff. It's hard. Oh. I was about to say, why are they not looking at each other? Directions, I think there was obvious directions. It's a live action movie. It's great. I love the shift here because obviously he was singing the tune in the verse. He maintained the, the tune throughout the chorus too, so now she's doing the harmony. Took a time Shakespeare in there. He maintaineth the... the <laughs> he maintaineth, he maintaineth the, 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 the shape of the... The, the, the shape. The, yeah, um, I mean, it's really cool though because you got this really like a... Um, change in dynamics itself because obviously she was doing like the overlays and and the mixing between moments in the song when he was singing the tune which by the way they're actually really hard even in in the written score you you see them really overlapping each other often and those are the moments where you kind of have to become very individual individualistic in your approach to the song you can't be a unity there because you really have to focus on your path your your journey uh, singing wise um, but then you have that moment where they look at each other and she's doing the harmonies and he's maintaining the tune and it's like wow cool dynamics it's not a focus on one singer more than the other it's not somebody supporting uh, the other more than than you would have liked it, it it's a, it's a really well balanced piece and like the arrangement itself it's really clever i like that's it that's a good word to describe it very balanced it is it's and it's really harmonious like even the the way they they are delivering the song cuz Compositions like this can easily be oversung, yep. uh, especially given their natural talent and and vocal uh, expertise. Uh, at this point, they they could have done something absolutely astronomical with riffs and runs and something madness, right? I thought that's gonna happen. I mean, I don't think so either. Probably a I, climax coming, but yes, but then again, a climax is different than over singing. So I I like the balance and. The, the textures and dynamics and is about the journey, not the destination. And you're, it's really nice. You're correct. <laughs> Stop! You weirdo! What is that? That's, those are the balls that cats used to play. To play with. What the hell are those? <laughs> hey! It's like tiny, you're like a tiny little Christmas tree. <laughs> Alright! Well, thanks, man. <laughs> Yeah, they went out looking at each other to magnify this. This moment is so big. Ooh. Oh, Gary. All the props in that freaking I was gonna say, do you know, you know why I could never do theatre? 
I love the 90s feel to it all. The outfits, the neon sign, the magic window. Oh my god, yes, bring me back to those years. You know I could never do theatre or or why I could never do like that type of sort of shows? Because I think, you know... You I, would you laugh know, in her no, face. No, no, no. No, what the fuck? It's not... No, no that's, not even, that's not even remotely me, but what it would happen was I would think the moment is real. <laughs> And then I'll actually start falling in love. Oh, yeah, you know what point. I mean? I, I don't think that's why I can act because yeah. I, I don't know how to lie very well. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, <laughs> so it's like but there is in that true. moment, in that moment, mm -hmm. I would think whatever she's feeling and whatever I'm feeling is actually real. And then I go off stage and I'm actually in love now with that woman. <laughs> that is yeah. so funny. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think I'll be able to do that. Well, I there is true fondness when you do pieces like this, um, act it through song, there is, remember that acting is based in true emotions. So it used to happen when I was a child as well, performing. <laughs> and you know, all the women I that we were I love you! Yeah, like all these women that we were performing with. Oh, so, no, it wasn't like the songs that I was doing. I mean, I was rapping, I was doing stuff like this. It wasn't like lovey-dovey, mm. but sharing the stage with them. And then when you look at them and- Yeah, and, it creates such a connection, that's Yeah, that, that to me was as real as it got. But then off stage, it's obviously not. Yeah. It didn't exist. Yeah. But to me, that was such a mind fuck. It's still to now, it's a mind fuck that <laughs> I can then detach myself like that. What do you take me for? I'm a human. You know, <laughs> no, I they, have a heart of Well, there ice. is, there is, like I said, remember, acting through song always comes from a, a place of truth. Um, for it to be good, it has to come from a place of genuinity. Uh, so there is true fondness. Yeah. So perhaps their their friendship was very strong at this point. So that's why it became so natural the 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 closeness and the understanding on stage. Um, it, it, a lot of the times you find that you click with, the, with your co-star on on a lot of the, the 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 shows that you do on stage because you have to develop true. Um, likings to each other in order to you know amplify certain emotions on stage so yeah I, I mean some of my best friends from have come from building that relationship on stage it it, it, it creates such a great you know with it understanding of one another and how each other work and and once you understand the person of outside the character you also became become really connected to their take on the character Therefore, you can really bounce off of each other's energy on stage. Uh, yeah, I think a, I think I start to like them. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it happens often too. Yeah, yeah. that's tough. <laughs> Anyways, go on. and then go to another stage, be a stage slut. <laughs> You know, and go and go perform with someone else, and I end up falling in love with them as well. It's like I love you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but difficult. I don't know how much my heart could take. So I think I'll stay away from the arts for now. For the performing arts. I think I'll stay back or rap, and then sort of just use anger instead. Oh. If I feel like I'm starting to like someone that I'm on stage with, like say I'm performing with someone and she's really like also attractive, like I'll just turn her into anger push her away oh my god Ifrit, what the throw her into the crowd yeah, yeah a surf dive yeah oh just yeah thanks everyone and then it's just a stop that's it thank you all i'm catching feelings goodbye <laughs> on that note let us know what else would you you would like us to check out next and peace we'll, and love yes put it on in the comment section below and we'll check it out goodbye